In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to set up abandoned cart emails in Shopify. Now, an abandoned cart email, basically what it is, is when somebody tries to place an order on your store, if they go to the checkout and then they actually like quit and they don't purchase it, so they see the shipping and it's too much, something like that, what it's going to do is it's going to capture their email that they put in and it's going to send them a follow-up email like a few hours or a few days later telling them that they forgot to check out and usually you can send them an offer to make them to check out or you can send them some kind of um send them some kind of uh something to make them want to buy more so you can like send them better reviews or you can send them like a guarantee something like that so the way that you would do this there's a few ways to do it in settings you want to go down here to notifications now here they have all of the different types of um notifications so we've got order confirmation orders edited all these ones now the one that we are interested in is these two here so abandoned pos checkout sent to the customer customer when you email their cart from pos it includes a buy link and the second one is send to customer if they leave checkout before they buy items in their cart. You can configure it in the options set in the options in checkout settings. So as it says here, you can click on here, open it in a new tab, and this is going to help you with the options. So you can change like after how many hours they get it, stuff like that. Now from here in here we can um, click on this, and this is going to preview what the email actually looks like itself. Now this is not very good as you can see and we're going to want to edit this. So to edit it, we click edit code here and it says before you can edit notifications you need to review and verify your email. So you need to have your sender email verified which is very easy to do. You can click here and it's going to show you how to do it in a new screen up here like this. Now once you've done that you can um, edit the subject line, you can edit the HTML of the body like this and then you can you know save it. This is not very user friendly for you as in it's not very nice for you to edit so I'm going to show you two ways to make that easier for you. The first way is you can get some abandoned cart uh, like templates online so I'll show you that. You just want to go to Google and search it so for example, this site here, Target Bay, they have tons of different things you can do here. They have tons of free email templates. So um, if I go back, you can see they have all of these abandoned cart emails like this. Um, say you want to use this one, you would click use template and you have to send your email in everything like that. Once you put all your email and stuff like that and you're going to get access to this code here and there's going to be like an editor that will make it nice for you to edit. You can see it's like a drag and drop thing here. It looks like this. So it's pretty good, pretty useful. Now this is basically the free way that you can do it on Shopify and it's free but it's not the best way to do it. So the best way to do it in my opinion is you want to go to apps and then you want to go to apps and sales channels. Shopify App Store and we're gonna there's a few different apps we can add here so if I type in email marketing it will give you some options so for me my favorite ones would be Clavio and MailChimp now you can try some of these other ones um, but I think Clavio is probably the best it is slightly expensive though over time so that's something to take into account if I can click Clavio here and I click add app now I click install app and it's going to get me to do a username and password in here so I'll do that. Once you're in here it's going to automatically embed your uh, thing on the site make sure it's done that it will give you instructions if not but it's going to have a tick here to show you that it's working. So from here what we can do is we can go over to the section here that says flows and as you can see here, I've got some setup already for a different store, but this is the abandoned cart flow. What you want to do is you want to click here, create flow. And then you want to go to, um, to I type in like abandoned cart at the top. Abandoned cart. So there's a few different options here. 
um, abandoned cart reminder you probably want to go for this one if you click on this it's going to give you the configuration settings so this is it I'm this is all good so I'm gonna create the flow okay so let me explain to you how it all works up here we have the trigger so the trigger is checkout started which means somebody has started checking out but they but they have they haven't um, placed an order so it says trigger people will enter this flow when they when checkout started and they've placed an order zero times since starting this flow and they have not been in this flow in the last seven days so it stops them from getting spammed basically next here you can change this so you can change this from how many hours you want to send it after so if you want them to get it after like one hour or like 10 minutes you can change that it's probably lower better for the first one now it's going to do a conditional split here so is consented to sms which basically means have they consented to receive sms if they have consented they're going to get sent an sms now the reason for this is that this is way higher converting and you want to send this if you can if they've not con consented to sms it's going to send them an email here now after it's done this is it's going to go back into here it's going to wait 20 hours or you can click this again to change it and you can send another email here so you can change this now the way that you change the emails is you press the little dot 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 here and click edit from here you want to change the name now this is just for your knowledge for you to see but what you hear of the subject line this is the most important bit is to get them to click it so it'd be like get rid of your bad hair or whatever whatever your product you're selling preview text is the line underneath that so yeah next we have the sender name, which you want to put as your store's name, and then the sender email. Make sure this is your sender email that you verified because it will not send otherwise. Now here you can check the view mobile and desktop. And if you press edit email here, it's going to give you the options to edit this email. So click edit and you can change these, the headline here. You can change the text here. This is a dynamic product bit. So basically, um, this is going to show the product that they added to cart but didn't purchase here so it's going to be dynamic it looks weird here but but it'll be like specific to the one they've actually added so it'll look good to them and it'll make them convert more you can add something here and then here we have a little button that says return to cart here the code here is event extra checkout url which means it's going to you click that it's going to send them to the cart but it's going to have the item in cart so you want to click save and exit and then go back And then you just want to click done and make sure it's turned on, um, turn it to live. And that's how you do it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then please like, subscribe and comment down below that this helped. Plus, comment down below if you want to see any other kind of videos and stuff like that. Thank you for watching.